what's up, hello, it's Meg, and this is Revved Up Rooms. Revved Up Rooms with me, Meg DeAngelis, brought to you by Pottery Barn Team. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this really cool DIY cord box and charging station that you can just put right on your nightstand. This nightstand and bed too actually is from the LC collection from Pottery Barn Teen. And it's really cool because they're both kind of reminiscent of like old Hollywood vintage glamour with the cutouts and the shapes and I really, really love them. But anyway, I'm so excited to show you guys these DIYs, so let's go. For the charger box, you'll need a cutting board, a box, a foam board, some wrapping paper, glue, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, a ruler. For your charging book, you'll need a cutting board, an old book, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, some wrapping paper, a ruler. So I'm just gonna take a book. I'm picking one that I really don't like and that I've read a bunch of times. You should probably do the same. And then what you're gonna do is take your ruler and you're gonna put it right on the edge of the book so you'll have a straight line and you're just gonna draw yourself a little rectangle so that you'll cut straight. Get your X-Acto knife and start cutting. You can also kind of use your ruler as a guide so you can hold like the ruler instead of holding the paper. It's gonna take a little bit of time but it is totally worth it. Just keep tracing that line. Cool. All right, first chunk is gone. And now I'm gonna do that a couple more times and it'll be ready. Okay, so now the hole is ready. I just cleaned up the edges a little bit and then this is really important, guys. I added a little notch in to like the bottom third of the hole so that the cord will fit. Without it, you're just gonna have a book with a hole, but you need it to be a charging book, so make sure to leave room for the cord. And now let's decorate the outside of the book. So just take some wrapping paper. You can pick whatever design you like, but I like this one and just roll it out in front of you. A little tip is to roll it so that it curls down so it doesn't just like curl right back up again. So I'm just gonna lay it out like that and then I'm gonna take the book cover that was on the book and lay it out and trace around it because that is how we know how big we need the cover to be. All right, so I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and draw right along the lines like I said, you can totally use scissors, but since I have this handy, it's just easier. All right, so then you're going to take your wrapping paper and fold it onto the book as if it was the cover. And then you can tape it if you want to. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right there just so it stays on really securely. And there we go. Now it is a book with a hole and a little notch, so it's a charger book. Okay guys, so if you want another option to charge your electronic devices, you can make a charging box that has compartments within it. So I got mine from Pottery Barn Teen and it's really cute, so I thought I would customize it and make the inside compartments to hold different cords for different devices. So what is now just a box? It's about to become a charging box. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is cut out compartment walls out of this foam board stuff. So the first thing you wanna do is take some measurements. So I'm gonna take the box and I'm gonna measure the size of the length and the width and the height. So now I'm just gonna cut these out. You can use an X-Acto knife or you can use scissors. I think I'm just gonna use scissors because like I'm more comfortable with them. This is really hard, so actually I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife instead. All right. Oh wow, this is so much easier. Once you have your wrapping paper, you're gonna flip it over, cut around my rectangles so that I can make little covers for them and just kind of like fold with it. And now you have a nice little cover, almost. You have to cut the last piece out. And... Okay, so now we have the size of the cover for our first foam rectangle. I'm gonna glue it on and then do the same to the other two rectangles. And the next step is to put little notches in them so that we can kind of puzzle piece them together. So I'm gonna take this one first, and what I'm going to do is add in a notch about the width of the size of one of these foam boards 
a third of the way through on this side, a third of the way through on this side, and about halfway down. So now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and cut little notches. Okay, so now I have two nice little notches in this long one, and I'm gonna cut two other notches on each of these, about halfway down and halfway across. Okay, so I cut the other two, and I decided I wanted different size compartments, so I just chopped one of them in half so that I can just like puzzle piece it right in there with the rest of them. So let's try this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the compartments in the box and puzzle piece them together. All right, so I have my charging containers and I'm gonna go put them in my room. Okay, so now I have this really cool secretive charging station and my cord box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my phone right in it and then put it on my nightstand. I really love how the little charging station and cord box go with the rest of the room because we have a bunch of like pattern mixing going on and I think it's really cool. It's like you can dare to mix all these different patterns and colors together and it is super, super soft and comfortable too. If you guys decide to make these DIYs, make sure to share them with me with the hashtag RevedUpRooms and the hashtag MyPBTeamDIY. Also, enter to win a $2,500 PB Team Dream Room that includes a design team that will come to your home and create room magic. Follow PB Team on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. So if you guys like the products I featured on this episode, make sure to check them out at pbteen.com. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and to Awesomeness TV's channel, and I'll see you later. Bye!